Hey kids, it's Pastor Steve, and I'm in the Kidman room in a couple minutes. Uh, some kids are going to come in here to learn more about Jesus. But first, I want to talk to you a little bit more about uh, God's Word. Uh, but I found some candy. Let's take a candy break, huh? Hmm. These are not my favorite candies. <laughs> There's a Starburst. You like Starburst? You like that? They're okay. You know, they're, but they stick to your teeth so much. I remember once it's like sticking my teeth and I'm biting it. And then it's like, I think there's no candy in my mouth. And it's because it's all like hiding in my tooth, hanging on. Isn't that just not my favorite? And uh, let's see what else is here. It's, um, there's three musketeers. Chocolate, but you ever hold on to chocolate and then like it starts getting all melty and then your hands will get all little brown pieces then you touch stuff and get brown fingerprints and it gets all st sticky and huh, this is just not the candy i was hoping to find i was hoping i have other candy that's like not super sticky to your hands or sticky to your teeth <sighs> this doesn't sound like i'm complaining that reminds me of our Bible story today. We're in Exodus. Exodus, like kind of like exit, because God's people were exiting from Egypt. They were going to be free. And God did some amazing stuff so they could be free, because they're free, they were stuck. And God uh, brought them out of the land where they were stuck. And a part of the journey, he brought them, and he brought them by the Red Sea. And then they started complaining, saying, even though God had did all these miracles to free them, that I said, oh, now they brought us. Great job, Moses. Great job, God. You brought us over here. We're going to die. We should have been back in Egypt. <sighs> they were complaining. And you know what? God rescued them anyway. It reminds me that sometimes we complain. Sometimes it's about silly things like candy. Sometimes it's more serious things about friends and ouchies and school and other stuff going on um, but God loves us even though we complain even though we have bad attitudes about things even though when we're not that thankful right the people should have been a little bit more thankful that God freed them not that it, so it's not good to complain it's not good not to be thankful but you know what God forgives us and loves us anyway so next time you're complaining about something is too sticky or maybe your dinner doesn't taste as good as you want it to be or it's not your favorite food today uh, or maybe that you have too much homework and work to do, maybe take some time to think about God. I think that God loves you even though you complain. But God also gives us reasons to be grateful, to be thankful, thankful for candy at all. Thankful that we have homework that helps us to learn and that we're going to be uh, smarter boys and girls because of the work we do. Thankful for that we have a dinner, even though it's not our favorite dinner. So let's remember God loves us even when we complain, but there's always reasons to be thankful. All right, we're going to learn more about that. Uh, if you're in the church building, we're gonna, you guys are going to come here and learn about that. And if you're online, you're, you're in luck. I have a, a sermon to tell you more about, about what God did to our friends, the Israelites, a long time ago. All right, let, us, uh, let me pray for you before we continue. Gracious God, we thank you, Lord, for, uh, Lord, that you have given us good things. You've been good to us. Help us to be grateful. Forgive us, God, when we complain about silly things. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, let us worship God together. <laughs> 